Hello. It seems to be working. Uh, if, if somebody in chat can let me know that it is actually streaming out and working, that would be lovely. But hello and welcome. I say hello because I can wave at you. Uh, it's me, Chris Gross Models, and Dan is here in voice only. Hello. And he's there somewhere. It's, it's like my conscience. <laughs> nasty. I think he's going to tell me. To, if I hear the voices in my head, then that's probably just Dan. So it'll be it'll be fine. Um, so yes, this is a new game that's just come out in VR, the Atlas Theatre, grand reopening, it's the, the Atlas Mystery, it's called. Uh, it is a puzzle room sort of VR game thing. Uh, so it should be fun, it should be hopefully playable, and uh, yeah, with, with you lot helping, assuming you're here. I can see chat, and Dan's obviously here as well, you can see yes. chat as well. Uh, we've got Gemma watching, obviously, she can shout at me as well, although I've got headphones on, so even if she shouts, I won't hear her. If she needs me, she has to type in the chat, I hope I notice. Uh, Jeff is here as well, category from Mongo, and is, as is Mark Shellard, and Dorcasaurus has just come along saying hello everyone as well. So, uh, it's coming up to the hour, so another 30 seconds of waffle, and then I shall click the new game button, and we'll enter the theatre and see what it is that we've got to do. I don't think... There was an Atlas Theatre, if I remember correctly. This is an American thing from, like, the 50s or something. Oh, okay. I believe. I'm, I'm not familiar, familiar with it. it. Completely made up. But it, it didn't have architecture like that. It didn't do that on the outside, as far as I'm aware. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Be a little bit scary as well, but, mm. uh, yeah. Um, Put, like, a restaurant so I think in the, there. the story of this is that you are investigating the theatre, basically. Uh, I assume that they're showing uh, a Spies Betrayal, Terror on Moonbase 9, Ghost on the Range, and West of the Saloon. I don't know if they have any basis on the game. I don't know if we have to go through different films or anything. It, it sounds like a good... Uh, I, Spies Betrayal is obviously a, a Bond spy thing. Terror on Moonbase 9 is a space thing. Got a Ghost thing and a Wild West thing. So it's got a good um, yeah. suggestion of films that they're doing. Uh, I am sitting... If I click on sanding, it basically just makes me shorter. So uh, I, I'll click it on sitting because then it makes it makes the game think that I'm standing up when I'm sitting. Uh, smooth turning, no. I like I like the snap turn to be able to do that because otherwise I get sick. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we're ready to go. I shall click the button. I'll click on new game and we'll go. Murder at the Atlas. Um, yeah. Uh, home director, guns down, mob tires suspected. Experian Times. I don't know what that is. Uh, right, now, I have started this tutorial bit before, just the, earlier on this evening, to make sure it all worked and everything else. So, uh, I, I know what I'm doing here, but we'll use it as an introduction to everything anyway. It obviously tells you, use the right stick to rotate your camera. So, I can click on the right stick on my right thumb, and that turns me around like that, so I can turn around and look at the room. I uh, use the left stick to walk around. I can push that in any direction and that will make me move. Uh, use up on the right stick to teleport. If I need to go over there quickly, I can do that. It seems to have me pointing in the direction So you're hopping. That I am. So I can I can sort of teleport over here. Or back over there. Okay. Or, or back over here again. Boing, yeah. boing. That needs to have a noise. Now it says use the grip button to grab items and interact with objects. So that glowy thing over there, um, I can't grab. Oh, I can grab from here, apparently, if I get the angle just right. Uh, the point at it, then I can pick it up. Uh, it says, new recruit, welcome to the team. We are thrilled to have you on as the Atlas's new exemplary theatre manager. Uh, as you are well aware, the sordid history of the Atlas is well behind us. And with myself now at the helm, I feel a new era is upon us. It's been many years since the Atlas has seen a patron, so there's plenty for you to do in preparation for opening night. I've left instructions scattered around the theatre to assist you, uh, but the lobby shop, lobby shoppy, uh, would be a good place to start. Best of luck. Solomon Jones is the management. So, uh, yes, yeah, Solomon Jones is indeed the management. Uh, it seems I am now the... What did it say what it was? I'm the theatre manager, so not the manager, but just the theatre manager. But he's decided to leave me alone on my first day, and first night of the job, just before the place opens. Obviously, I would have appreciated some help. He's got a very Five Nights at Freddy thing going on here. Oh, That's, I can't, um, even, I can't, oh, I can't put on the... Oh, can't put on the fedora. Right, now, I found out that there is a button to make me crouch. 
very, okay. very low to the floor, but um, it's That's obviously useful. useful for me for doing things <laughs> for like smacking yourself in the drawers. face with the drawer. Okay. Because oh, what's this? That's a record of employment. Theatre manager, February the twentieth, nineteen fifty-one. So yes, we are in the fifties. Uh, apparently, I'm on uh, one thousand four hundred and forty dollars per annum. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I've been approved. Brand new document. Service. It's already got coffee stains. Yeah, well, I, I'm very careless, obviously. Uh, security information. Uh, oh, this is me. I was born in 1925, so I'm 26 at the time of playing. Uh, got me address there. Previous employment. Uh, admirable knowledge of motion picture history and a definitive understanding of the latest production and exhibition technologies. The courier couldn't have been any motion picture history in the 50, in 1951 because history's only just started then, isn't it? <laughs> uh, right, so in there I have a code. I've got 589 is the code for the metal cabinet, as it said there. Enter the combination by pushing the dials up or down. So we've got that. We've got to go to 5... I can use a finger and make it a little bit easier. Five, eight, nine. Now come on, push it up, up, up. Click. Here we go. There you go. Five, eight, nine. So there, I can now open the doors uh, and reach behind you to pull out your backpack. I have a backpack. Oh, okay. So already I have things to worry about. Uh, put the screwdriver in your backpack. You'll need it later. I should put that in the first slot of my backpack. It's already uh, bloodstained, excellent. Go the backpack, it just disappears, but it's still there, and obviously I have room for nine items. Uh, it's good to add things you might need later on. I'm not going to bother like, picking anything else up in here and storing it. But, not even lunch? You got a uh, lunch box there. Is that lunch? It looks like lunch It's box. not letting me pick that one up, so no, I'm not going to leave that no. there. Uh, now, there seem to be a lot of stars there. Weren't there less stars in the 50s? Was that a thing? Uh, well, I'd have to count to see if it's 48 or 50 on there, but I don't remember oh, what, a, I, th I don't I remember exactly a, when Alaska and, Alaska and Hawaii were the last ones brought in, but I don't know I what don't year know. that got was. A resident American here to help out, and he doesn't even know his own history, like, stuff. Nope. <laughs> right, uh, another picture, uh, gun down outside the theater, all oh, right, so they're the uh, mob associate was gone down outside, but not okay. us. Well, at least yeah, didn't books. disturb the actual viewing. That's what matters. Is that a cigarette Apparently case? books are oh, unopenable. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, right. So now my objective is just to get out of the room. It didn't tell me anything more than that. Uh, but there is a bit of paper there. That tells me a thing. Oh, 89 a with, a, with a sine wave on it. Ah, I've got my hand stuck in the shelf. <laughs> There's a pot and pan down there. Oh, oh, that looks like a... Okay, yeah, that's a seltzer bottle. It's a very solid one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, right, so yes, this has got, obviously, a couple of waves on it and the number 89. Or six, no, it's not 68. Yeah, it's definitely that way up, isn't it? Uh, so, there's nothing to do with the gramophone there. Uh, nothing to do with the typewriter. What's this? This is a thing that's got a grid on it that looks a lot yeah. like that. So, uh, let's, let's plug it in. Is that how American plugs look? Uh, it looks, yeah. it looks tiny. Yeah, they, that's before there was a grounding plug added. Ah, right, yes. Uh, right, so, 89, I think I've just got to move the thing up to 89, obviously. It's quite interesting. That's just the tactile pushy thing. Uh, and right. then I can change the amplitude and the frequency. So I need to get that to be about there. And the amplitude to go up to about 20. Looks like that. Uh, there's a button. So that will probably let me change the red one yet. Yeah, there we go. That's got to be about there. And a thing opened with a key. Nice. So I now have a key. 
I bet that will fit the door. What's that? Is that just a stack of newspapers over there? Yeah. Uh, and I'm already questioning our employer here, because that means they locked us in a room. They locked us in a room, indeed. <laughs> with <laughs> this weird puzzle thing in order yeah. to... Did they, did they have, have they got another key on the outside that they... Oh, the door keeps shutting as well. Yeah. Uh... Let's see the chat. Uh, everyone's saying hello. Oh, Goins is the return in. of Chris. It is indeed. I have returned. Uh, Skullfish is here. Skullfish. New game. Evening, everyone. It looks like the Invisible Man is playing. Yes, he's just got hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm outside now. Uh, Click. Oh, no, he could have locked us in with the thing. That's right. Oh, yeah. They yeah, put okay. the deadbolt on the outside of the manager's office. That yeah. Okay, that needs to be the first thing that we have changed in the morning when the yeah I think they put the door in the wrong way in. around obviously yeah that, that, that yeah. lock needs to be swapped around at the very least <laughs> uh, right a spy's betrayal uh, 1918 Germany a world of espionage and thrills ghosts on the range 12 ghastly spirits haunt 36 acres of fear and a car and it gets dark over there I don't want to go over there it's too dark and a nice painting of something that looks like a famous painting. It very well could be. It might not be, but it's, it's got that look to it. All right. All right. Another bucket ladder. of paint and a ladder. I can't. I can't climb the ladder or do anything. Okay. With it. The paint is just paint. Again, I can't pick it up. We do have a panel here though that's got a thing. Power obviously going in and out. Something. Eighty-five is obviously what we need. Okay. Um, well, now, start, obviously, in the real world, when presenting with a knobs. panel such as this, yeah. you just start pushing buttons. Yeah. And twiddling knobs, because that's what you have to do with these things. Does that just turn it up? Can I just turn it right? Oh, that's all the way up. Oh, damn. And that goes down when it goes up. That's not right. When you go up, when you go up. Can that one go? No. Go down a bit more. No. Oh, I'm on away. What's this first one do? Don't know. There we go. Power. We've got power. Alright. I need to and install a panel like that in my basement. That would be cool. I have to do that every time I turn on the lights. My wife would love it. That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Are those lights flickering before, or is that you? I don't know. <gasps> panel with screws on it. You know what that means. Screwdriver! Now am I going to have to turn this? Again? No, it does it for me. It's handy. It's like an electric screwdriver, but electric hands yeah. instead. It, too bad it's not magnetic. All yeah, those the are just bolts are just falling on the floor. I obviously don't care about them. No. Oh, oh. Oh, that's, that's an interesting looking thing. thing. I'm going to keep that though. I can't pick up yeah. bolts or anything, so. We won't worry about them. It's strange. Some things you can actually interact with and pick up, and some things you can just interact with by pushing around a little bit. Yeah. And the screws seem to have disappeared, so I won't worry about that. Okay. Alright, so we got right. one yellow light on. Oh, these are resistors. They are. I've never seen really resistors are, in an L shape like that. That's, that's new. Yeah, I, I think they're not really being resistors. I think yeah. they're just being shapes that I have to connect up to go somewhere. Uh, that's got to be coming down to that. So uh, if it's got to be going down to get into that, then it's got to go down to get into that. So that one's got to be down to that. So I've got to take that that way. Somehow I've got to bring it back up, haven't I? Uh, so we're going across, down there, across, back, down. Uh, We'd have to go off to the left that side, won't we? Does my finger keep putting itself away? That should be it, shouldn't it? Got lights coming on. Padlock, no key. Unfortunately, we'll be a bit short on personnel for the opening night gala. 
I may need you working the lobby shoppy. Uh, give it a go while you're there. Try making a combo. I left the soda fountain manual to assist you. That's always nice. Thank you very much. Those are some filthy napkins. Yeah, considering this is opening night. Yeah. I mean, this is... It broken it bottles the, and... The pre-opening night party and... Um, I want to put my thumb over the top. That's just I can't drink it with my thumb over the top. There you go. I, I don't think I'd want to drink it anyway. I mean, it was just sitting on I, the bar. It was, and... it was there. It's a tradition. Uh, right. So, uh, that's yeah. locked. There's something under there. Is that... Oh, there we go. That's the soda, soda fountain phone. manual. Right. All right. I'll put that next to the soda fountain in for a minute. We'll, we'll come back and play with that in a minute. Yeah. Let's uh, shut that drawer open this drawer because it's a drawer you have to uh it's a little bit warm I'm gonna turn the fan on because i've actually got a fan on in the room that i'm in so this yeah, would be so a good immersion if i can actually it's, it's on just on really slowly <laughs> i don't think that would actually work that's right the, the sink doesn't work either so that's okay at least we have a fire extinguisher by there okay who, pop what? machine is obviously locked although apparently it does coffee as well i'm not Entirely certain how that works. I think that was the heating element for the kettle. Okay, so you have to weigh out your popcorn. Fair enough. Pack way you think to do it. More beer. See cashier for recommendations. All broken things. Hot link. This popcorn. Combo one. Alright, that's the combos. Two. That's the combos. Yeah. Uh, speedy dogs served in a carton. Speedy dogs cooked in a jiffy. Lovely. Uh, okay, I, I'm a bit worried about the fridge, the fridge. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I can't be... open the fridge, so that's okay. Uh, trade report. I don't really care about that. Oh, it's hidden safe. No, that's another film. More hot dogs. Stuff scary out there in the thing. Sank in the till. I can't open the till. Oh, we've got numbers on the till, so. We've obviously got push three buttons that are the, the right yeah. combination to open the till. We'll figure that out as time that's, goes by. That's a sadistic manufacturer. Yeah, let's put Roman numerals on the on the till. That's. I could get my hands stuck under shelves. Uh, right, so we've got tray stuck to the glass nicely. Uh, chocolate bars okay. in there. Can I? All right, so those come out. Mulray sarsaparilla. Jaunty ankle because it. <laughs> I, I don't. I thought American chocolate is not real chocolate, is it? So I'm not going to eat any of them. Yeah. It's pretty you hard have it. You just have it. to pay extra for it. It's, fork. You know, to get the good stuff. I'll have a fork. So why not? Why not? Maybe I can't. It's not letting me put a fork into my backpack. Huh. Even though that would be a useful thing to have in the backpack. Apparently but... it's less useful than I thought. Yeah. Uh, put All the switch right. in the lobby. I can't reach it. it it's over. This, there's a padlock on the thing. Uh, yeah. I can't reach it because my arm's on that lock. So, yeah. Uh, right, let's have a look at the manual. If I want to do... A red okay. one, I need pink and orange. So if I put that under the pink and pull the handle, are you going to stop? No, okay. Um, I've got fingers in the bottom of the thing. <laughs> Just need half of that and half of that. Uh, I'm going to keep hold of it, I think. Half of that and half of that. No. And half an orange. There we go. There's a thing. I don't know. Did I have to make a combo, didn't I? Uh, so I need to make a hot dog. And, uh, and popcorn. Cold. I can't make popcorn because the popcorn's locked. Maybe we have to do all the drink flavors first in order to get a key to unlock this. I don't see how that works in the real world. It doesn't. I've worked in movie theaters. This is nothing 
even remotely how it and also should these generally. are fake cups. I can't even push them over. <laughs> so I've only got one. You've only got one green. usable cup. Okay. Uh, let's try making a blue one then. So on a yellow and purple. That's not how colors work. So this one works. That made a bleepy noise as well. That made a good noise. Yeah, yeah, that made a happy game noise. But then noise. again, there is a blue one on that. Oh. Okay, so yeah, the colors for the drinks are part of the combos. Can't have a knife either. Oh, well. Ah. Okay. So then I need some candy. Uh, he's in the chat. Mm. Who's in the chat? See if you can find a fish, says Bobbins. <laughs> Um, right, what? I might find some Swedish it's, fish. It's a candy that's got something blue on it, so I'll have one of them, shall we? Sure. I don't know how to... I didn't realise there was drawers all the way along here. Now I love having the open cans of... Oh, hey, there's a... Ah, uh, see, we're only for transfer of property. All right, it's telling me that the is mine now, apparently, or something. A uh, key for the popcorn machine, good. Okay, let's, let's open the popcorn machine then. Yeah. Actually, and just in case, because you never know. These keys are a bit... No, it uh -huh. won't even fit. Yeah, they're, they're like general... Put it in and it won't go. Generic it's got four sealed around it. There we go. Yay. Okay. So now we've got some horrible stale popcorn in there. I have to plug it in. It's plugged in up there, but it's not plugged in over there. Ah. I don't know. Yeah, so there should be a plug on the outside of the machine somewhere. Hmm. Uh, check those. Let's just check the other couple of drawers before I get too worked up in things. Yeah. Before I forget to check them all. Nope, nothing else in there. Okay. Opening tomorrow, this place is just absolutely. Yeah, disaster. it seems to be a little bit um, not not ready for opening. Yeah. The switches are definitely not working. Hmm. Can't, can't see anything around it. the machine all around, or. Yeah, or, or, or if you crouch, mm -hmm. can you see maybe under the machine to see if the cord's under there? Uh, your scoop. Yeah, I just use the old popcorn. There we go. Uh, does it tell me how much popcorn I should have in a thing? It just says popcorn. 20 ounces. Ah, there we go. It does say. Do you reckon that's more than or less than 20 ounces of popcorn? I have no idea. <laughs> so... Uh... Can't even... Oh, that's six ounces, right, okay. Uh, it's less. That, that was like ten. So, in theory, another scoop, if I miss a couple like I did the first time. It's 19, damn it. I missed a couple too many. Alright, we got, got another happy noise. noise. Okay. We're undercutting them, look. I've got a beepy noise and it's undercutting it. Ah, I do see that we have got. Oh, a nine yeah, there's there. an IX on there. So, okay, so we have a 9 on the. That. Did we happen to get. Oh, we've got a 2 on the cup. Do you reckon that's a 2, yeah. I need a candy. Popcorn, 20 ounce. Candy and cream soda. Just says candy. It says 23 cents. Is that... I don't know how much <coughs> anything else is. Hmm. The candies... I was looking for one that's the same colour as the one that he's dancing around with, so... Yeah, it it's like an unwrapped candy bar with a 
pageant sh sash on it, so we can't really tell. Yeah. Hmm. Can't use this one yet, can we? I have a feeling we need to load the hot dogs into the top of it or something. I don't know. Another packet down there. Come on. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. Um. So, I'm not sure about the candy. Maybe one of the candies got a thing on it. Yeah. We'll try a different candy bar and see if it pops up with a Roman numeral on it. Not that I can see in those. Right. maybe setting other candy bars with the other things on the counter. Well, because... I just randomly put them there. The other things made beepy noises when I sort of done them. Yeah. Um, on the tray, probably, maybe. Yeah, that's a possibility. Yes. Um, just get rid of this one. That sort of snaps to that corner. Yeah. That's what it didn't. Then again, there's also six little things on the... Yeah, they all snap to it. Okay, places. so, yeah, the candy bars just snap to it. Okay. Uh, well... Um, if the looks, no, drinks... It's the only one with a candy bar. If that's nine... Yeah. Then the, the drinks two... Then, if it costs 23, then the candy must therefore be 12. But there isn't a 12 button on it, it just went 1 to 10. Yeah, that, that ruins my uh, theory there then. So if we try 2... Uh, 9, wasn't it? Yeah. And... Maybe one of them's not right. Yeah. Maybe the two is not really a two. Seems very cheap for popcorn. No, popcorn is nine. The drink must be different. But does that have that two on there all the time, or is that only when I put that drink in it? It, it only looked like that one after you put the stuff in it. it... Try a different drink. Let's try yeah. pink and black. Blue again. Maybe I've broken it. Amazing color changing mug. Apparently, I can't yeah. really do this. We the the health code inspector really needs to take a look at this place. I mean, Hot dogs sitting on the counter for who knows how long. Open paint cans in the concession stand. Uh, right, so we've done the popcorn. Can't get any more cups. Was there anything else on there? Was there? It's just that it being owned by. Yeah. I can't seem to do a hot dog. Hot dog was the only other thing, wasn't it? But. Pick anything up, can't twiddle anything. And uh, the box doesn't fit into these that, that slot. I can pick up, maybe. That doesn't fit in the slot in the front of the machine. Uh, no, I couldn't get that to go in there at all. Okay. Hmm. 
Nothing's plugged in. I'll open that. There's more puzzles over there, but I can't get there. Is there anything in this? Trade report. Ticket sales continue to draw. Person of Fortune is playing a fundraising showcase. It says there's class and feature in the hidden safe. Yeah, nothing special in there. But I can see. Uh, uh, Edward's here. Afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Pull the handle on the till as a skullfish. I, I tried that before. It didn't let me. I'm assuming that that's once you've got the things in there right. Yeah. It's not after every one or anything, is it? So. No. Yeah, I love the look of the register. It's I love all the filigree on it, but it's always got something's going to come up there and stuff. But yeah, it's probably going to have a key in the till there. But this is. Maybe the order matters. It's got to be nine something. Do we want to try combo two? number one? Or no, combo number one at a hot dog. So we're kind of stuck at how to make that. It's interesting how your gloves turn black. There we go. Let's get it in the right order. Nine, six, two. I don't know why, but. That's what it was. Uh, candy was six. Are there any candies that have got six on them? Five? All the ones that have got price on them seem to be five. Strange. Yeah, I have no idea. Right. Got a key to the lobby. Bobby. Good. All right. And a magazine about palm Good. trees. Home tree uh, tabloid. Spectre sightings. Oh, it's ghosts. Okay. Yeah, that's what you should have in your register, not like drawers yep. to keep money or anything. The lobby is open. No, it's not, but it will be. Maybe I can. I probably could have gone under it anyway. No, Oh, I should have probably <laughs> moved that out of the way. Oh, well. All right. Now you can turn on the light switch that's next to you there. Hmm. Behind you. Electrical hazard. Uh, oh, it did turn the lights on. Yes. Okay. So, lots more to explore. Okay. Uh, total is 23. Put that in until I tried that as well. Unless, did I add it up to... I don't know. The order it, it was in had to matter because I tried that and it didn't work before so uh, let me just grab a quick drink and then explore okay, I love the size of this this is a great looking lobby apart from all the filth anyway well this bit's quite clean yeah maybe they just didn't clean up behind the scenes what in the right It doesn't turn. It does. Things. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out what connects up to where. Okay, we got lions with bright red eyes. That's yeah. fun. Okay. Padlocks on get... the doors there. Yeah, they look a little bit angry. Yeah, yeah, that's... They're... I'm expecting one of them to start mm. seeing Zool. We've got Valar. I don't know what that means. Okay. It's not just going to be Valar, is it? We've got our poster for West of the Saloon. Ah, that one's got an open door. No, it doesn't open. Oh. Might be changed from the other side. 
Another book. Hmm. Lots of things in there. I can see them glowing behind the thing. Yeah. J R F D and C C. But nothing actually moves. So. Okay. A big clock. I said clock. Uh, it's broken. Yeah, yeah, that's... It's I... not running, but it's running. And it's broken. Okay, we won't worry about that then. We've got 12.36. I don't know what that means. Cogs in there. Obviously, I need to find a couple more cogs. And then I can... I don't know. Oh, that's, that's going to be a dial for the safe. Yeah. Maybe I could just... There's not even any fish to smash it with. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, Ghost in the Ranger has seen that poster before. Got trash cans. Oh, there's something in there. Ah, oh, that looks like a safe combination piece. It does indeed. Let, let's put that with a safe. Because that's pretty much where it's going to go, isn't it? Okay, there's a quote, a sign on the wall. Yeah, alright, what have we got on there? Staff memo. The Du Bois estate has been particularly inquisitive regarding our award statue security measures. Make sure to dispose of any combinations in the separate lobby race bins. Yeah, there's going to be another half of that. We sort of figured that out already. Yeah. So, we'll take a look at the other trash cans. Alright, let's continue around the outside for now. Uh, Again, keyhole <coughs> to the lift. Box Cigar with box. things on it. Ooh. Oh, that's code. Right, okay, that's easy enough. We'll figure that one out. Uh, it's got lions on it, so that might be a. I can't put that in there either. Or that. I think my backpack's rubbish. It's just a screwdriver holder. Okay, so it's showing a picture um, frame. Yeah. Regarding frame. that. Yeah. What was the number? I can't remember the number. Does anyone remember the number of it out? That's got a number on it. 12 something, I think, wasn't it? Whack a mole! Yay! <laughs> oh, it's an oh, actual whack a mole. It actually it? starts up! <laughs> nice! I can't. You don't really have the peripheral mold. vision to be able to see the move. <laughs> Probably be easier if I wasn't holding this box as well, but and now it's going to say if you can just duplicate the uh, positions that they appeared in. <laughs> I'm bored now. I'm not going to play anymore. It's starting to hurt. Nothing there. I'm not even going to try opening them. We go here. Oh, How to win well, a deposit coin. It's pretty difficult. You can't actually aim down. Yeah. Yeah, you're at a weird angle to try and aim by. Doing pretty good so far, though. Again, I don't know if there's an actual end to it, so I'm just going to stop. <sighs> ah, 12.36. Was that the thing that they said? Maybe not. Gave me the impression that I should push it or something, but... Yeah. Ah, there's another one. 1918. I don't get it. 
they have to point this at the thing that says 1918. Now that one hasn't got a handle. It's 1918's over there. Okay. Well, there's so another thing and the other thing. Point the yeah. yeah, point the arrow from this one at all the way to the right over there. Actually, it's got numbers around there as well. Uh, maybe that isn't it. That might be more to do with these uh, coats. Turn to 35, maybe. Maybe the order of the um, years is the order you should do them in. Convenient. That's not. <laughs> Stupid backpack. And that's still got coke. The thing's missing. Oh so, yeah, that's yeah. got the cogs that we can't do that find. yet. Okay. And also, there's the middle of the lobby. There's like that globe that we need to. Yeah, look I'm, I'm stand away from that for the time being. Uh, right. So. We have a, uh, I can't remember the name of the code, but it's a, a type of code thing. Okay. So the V down would be M. The red V up would be U. Uh, I bet that is R. I bet it's murder. Might not be. Okay. Oh, it is. Uh, there we go. And there's one of the cogs that fits into that. I can uh -huh. put it in my backpack. Yeah, and that'll Just go the into the pedestal. As well. No, the other one's still red. Okay. So I don't know, that still might be that. Oh, it might be this. I think we're going to have to figure out this one now to get the other side of the thing out. Like, there's a panel there. Yeah. Everything inside it. So, this is going to be... I assume, lighting up. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. No, what's that doing? It still doesn't do anything. Yeah, I don't know the point of this one, so it's hard to guess it, what kind of... Yeah, I haven't had anything that told us anything about this that I can yeah. cool. I guess we'll check out the middle stuff then. Uh, okay. Quite a here. Skullfish says one, two, three, six. What is that? Is that the number? Thank you. I don't think it actually helps at the moment. Um, okay. <laughs> Make a mannequin torsos for no reason. Okay, we got lights. Oh. Moonboat 9 must succeed. It has to. Uh, okay. Now, I did see... Oh, hammer. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Ah. Um, I saw another one of these lamps. Which, obviously, I can't pick up. I thought that, because uh, they look like they're not equal distance. There should be a third one, but maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. we need to rotate the globe to actually yeah, match half the... Of it and half of it and... Yeah. So yeah, hmm. something should make the globe rotate 
so it'll actually match the key. silhouettes. Okay, I can't do this yet because I need a key for that. Alright. Unless I can get you with that. Nope, that's not working. <laughs> you push the buttons with the hammer, and that's about it. Can you use it to break the glass on the <laughs> on the trophy cases? Ah, a good idea, yeah, why not? No. <laughs> And make the glass out of something quite impressive. Uh, uh, hammer all the things, says Retro. That's not a bad idea. I tried. Hmm. We should at least make a noise when it turned, but. Uh, it goes up to 36. See, from my perspective, I can't see numbers on that. It's oh, right. that, too grainy. That, that one doesn't turn. Oh, that one's got That's... things on there, though. Yeah. Right. Most of these movie posters do have numbers on them, though, so... Yeah, I think they all do. We've got... All right, so that's... 12.36. Yeah. So start entering in numbers into that podium and... 12.36. Nope. Nope. And 918 has already been used on that one. Okay. So let's take no, a look at the other that. poster. Got twenty three seventy nine. Yeah. Well, the sound of you quickly shuffling across the. Ah, put your finger. Your finger's gone away. Uh, Joseph E. Randall. Was he? Oh, uh, that might be Clark Cunningham. Ah, there we go. This is. I know it won't be this one because I've just checked this one, but it's Catherine Bergwell. Okay, so where's Josephine? Uh, that's the ghost again. Uh, Joseph E. Randall. 1862. Okay. Eighteen sixty two. Oh, it went poof. Even on the bottom of it. Oh. And then there's a dial. Now it's that in there, look. Okay. That in there, well. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. Alright. So let's look at one of the other trophies and take a look at the, yep, the name on it. That might give us a little extra. Uh, that is Freddy the Boy, which is the thing in 1918. Okay. So it's got to be something to do with the numbers, 1 to 36. What else yeah. does that tell us with any other numbers? Spice Betrayal, Starring Him, no other numbers. Nothing on his helmet or anything, or. Mm -mm. Nah, right, okay. Uh, let's check the last one. Needs the cogs. I've got one cog. This is uh, Cunningham, Clark S. Cunningham. Twelve thirty-six. Okay. That's the the one with the car, I believe. Twelve thirty-six, Clark S. Cunningham. Nothing underneath. Oh, 
it's a proper oh, one okay. sheet. Right. Nice. Yeah. Real movie posters are like that. They're printed uh, double sided backwards. Yeah, sort of plasticky so you can sort of see through it. Yeah. Yeah, so that way you can shine the light through the back of it and it'll be nice and crisp. Uh, that doesn't really help me. Yeah. Uh, this was Joseph Frendel, JR. Be that one. There we go, okay. And that's got 20 on it. I'll leave that down here as well. Hmm. I mean, that has to be 20. Yeah. But what was the other thing about angles and turning around in particular directions? Uh, but, uh, well, I think that was actually, you know, what we rotate the dials to on the yeah. instruction there. You know, the first dial. Twice to 35. 19. Or is that percent. what this is for? Should I go clockwise to 35? Which is just about there. Then anti clockwise to 19. Which is just about there. Then clockwise to 26. Oh, go. very clever. Good thinking. <laughs> that was satisfying. A little bit too enthusiastic with that. Right. Uh, put that in there. Put that in there as well. So that used that, so I don't need that anymore. Um, still need to open the other cog one, so it's going to have to be this light thing, but... Yeah, but I'm not seeing anything that tells us how it could conceivably be connected. What about the matchbook there? No, oh, that's not even not even inter okay. interactable. Yeah, that po paper is just telling us. Okay, associate the posters <laughs> with the. Oh, sledgehammer. Probably not much use, but... Oh, but so, so rewarding. Alright, so we've got the next one is FD-70. Don't even go at 70. It does, so I reckon this will be okay, 20. Okay, so that's the numbers on the dials. That'll be 70. And the last one from CC is whatever it is. Yeah. This will be CC, won't it? Yeah. Okay, so we got to get that last okay. piece, which is, I think, the the moon one. The, well, the, the sci -fi other cog came out of this. Ah, uh, yeah, um, true. So we got. There's got to be something to tell us. The relevance of these lights on these panels. Why are they all different? We've got red and yellow, orange and green, yellow and yellow, and red and yellow, orange. And they're the Oops. I yeah, it and it unplugs from the bottom half too. So. Yeah, I just noticed that. Ah. Now you've got to get all the lights lit up, obviously, so I need another amber one. 
Uh, is that in place of a green? No, I need those two greens. How many greens have I got? Damn it. Ah. Uh, I only want three reds. So I've got three reds. One, two, three, four, five embers. And there's only three, so. I can't even go across boards. Right, uh, that makes it almost impossible. Yeah. Uh, There are only three reds by the looks of it. So, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. There are twelve. So I've just got to figure out a way of getting the right numbers. There's three, 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 and three. Three of each. Okay. That should be easy, shouldn't it? <laughs> In theory. I've got three yellows, so I don't need a yellow on that one. Yeah. I need that to be orange and red, which it already is. So maybe yellow and red, orange and orange. Oh, oh. there we go. Uh, making them all green is always a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, but there's one yellow on that. Is there? Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. I have no idea what <laughs> caused it to do that, but okay. Every time you click over it, it cycles through the colours, so... Uh. It's just a case of doubling back in certain places so you can get all in the right place. Moving. Right, so we've got 50 on this one. It's supposed to be that's... magnetic or something. They're magic, I think. Uh, ah! You should have warned me before that. Money! Yay! Oh. Let's finish the game then. Let's just yeah, finish. there's. Oh, damn it. Ah! Can't. Hmm. I don't know, but I can take them, so I will. I wonder if we're going to be able to get to a projection booth where we can put them... Where we can... Uh, Drop that one now. See them. Okay. So, there was a couple of places with doors locked, weren't there? Yeah, yeah, we had a couple of locked theatres. This is the closest one, so we'll try yeah. this one. Yeah, I'll try the elevator and see what it does. What does it say on it? It says glow. Oh, that's going to be the globe. Ah! Well, you okay. thought we hadn't finished in this area yet. My headphone cable is getting caught up. And I, I can't. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So now we got to figure out. Oh, okay. So the top, 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 top and top. bottom rotate separately. So that now lines up over there. I'm assuming yeah. that's going to be correct. And obviously that's mostly correct as well. So I've just got to get the top to line up to that. It shouldn't be difficult, should it? I just had to push a button a couple of times. Blip. There we go. Different key to the elevator, yes. All right. Oh. 
It's one of these fake elevators. The floor's going to disappear, isn't it? <laughs> Guess we've got to go up. Oh, maybe it's a uh, fake elevator. Maybe you have to close the door oh, behind you. Doing anything. Uh, Conroe Advertising. Dear Oliver, we appreciate your outreach. Uh, Bruce and Georgia work on the hidden safety opportunity to collaborate. We're going to have to pass on providing marketing services for Moonbase 9. Don't like Moonbase 9. Uh, uh, that clock's broken even worse than the first one. Yeah. Moonbase 9 fails to launch. Yeah, we, we knew Moonbase 9 was going to be a problem. It was just Which far probably too, means uh, it's a movie I would really enjoy. Yeah, it, it was it's, ahead of its time, I think. Yeah. So. Usually, uh, I like this even stuff. with the money loan debts were growing, so much we can do. In, uh, uh, right. Um, oh, it's a glass cabinet. I was going to say it's like a, an invisible thing, but it's just a cabinet. Uh, Chris does have a nice ding when he hit his hammer against everything. That, that was a nice noise, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh huh. Right. I think I'm hard sucking my head through the cabinet. Uh, understand your frustrations, but it must remain between us. Yeah, secret, secret letters. I'm not going to read that at the moment. Projector. There we go. Okay. Puzzle. Or an actual. Oh, damn it. So. Ball falls through a hole and appears back over there again. No, I'm not going to play with that at the moment. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to call it a night there. It's been an hour. Okay. That's, that's quite long enough. Uh, Gemma says she, uh, no, Mark says he doesn't trust the dodgy looking lift. Yeah, Gemma doesn't like lifts anyway, so I've got to splice the film into one film, yep. obviously. But we'll worry about that next time. Mirrors. Do I finally get to see what I look like? No. Okay. No. No, those are frames for the uh, one sheets to put downstairs. They're a bit small. Yeah. Hmm. I think that's what they. Uh, yeah, there's a, a reel there. Obviously, that's going to be coming to play as well. More loads and letters and things, and obviously the projector. Yeah. Chalkboard. Chalkboard. Damn it! It's just anything in the drawer? No, can't open the drawer. The drawer's on the floor, but I can't open the other one. Okay, that will do for now. Um, hidden safe and more. So you oh, Zoetrope! Yeah, cool. we'll play around with that next time. Yeah, um, yes, this has been fun. One. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. It's something a little bit different. Um, I, I like a bit of VR from time to time, and it uh, it gives me an opportunity to play that while you know not feeling guilty about not streaming stuff. So. I can do that. Uh, Dan's been a great help as well, obviously, with remembering stuff and keeping an eye on chat while I'm doing things. So, uh, yeah, um, I've lost track of what's what. Next week should be something else, isn't it? No Man's Sky, is it? I believe so, yeah. With any luck, next Thursday will be me and Dan playing No Man's Sky, so join us for that. I, I've yeah. put my hands down, whereas I should really keep them active and you know, show you that I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm here talking to you. I know you're not over there, you're here. So it's me here talking to you here. But yes. Um, yeah, so No Man's Sky next week, I think. And then the week after should be another evening with just hanging out and chatting. Yeah. Unless we decide to forgo that for a little while and come back to this. It depends how I feel. Yeah. Uh, that's today. Um, yeah, Saturday night is escape night. And it's escape sim night. Yes. This week. So uh, forward to it. Again, Dan and uh, Jeff. Should be joining me for a bit of that on Saturday. A bit like this, but more hands-on with the three of us. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that should be fun. We can all bumble around into each other. It'll be awesome. Hey, yeah, that's great fun. Uh, so, that's that. Thank you all for joining me. It's been great fun. Uh, yeah. Do let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. Uh, like that smash button, says the Bobbins. Absolutely, that's what it's for. <laughs> uh, Mark has enjoyed the change. Good. Uh, Gemma says, great stream. Chris and Dan. Dorkasaurus says, cool Thank game. Bye, people. 
So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I've got to press a button, which I don't think will make any difference to you what you're watching, but I need to go back to my desktop to be able to stop the stream. So I shall finish it here, and I shall say thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. And, uh, yeah, bye-bye from myself, and also, I assume, bye from Dan. Bye-bye. Yeah. Good night, all. See you soon. <laughs>